Now that you understand the different uh, stages of a thunderstorm and the dangers associated with those, let's look and see how the meteorologists predict a thunderstorm in your area. Um, if we look at a standard atmosphere or standard lapse rate, we'll just use the uh, standard temperature starting at sea level of 15 degrees Celsius. And for every thousand feet we go up in a standard atmosphere or standard lapse rate, the temperature drops two degrees Celsius per thousand feet. So when you go up a thousand feet, the temperature would be 13, 11, 9, 7, oops, 5, 3, 1, and so on. Uh, now we would need some sort of lifting force, and of course moisture. And our lifting force could be anything from air being blown and blown up mountains that would cause it to lift, or it could be a cold front that snow plowed through the area and pushed the warm air up in front of it, or it could be in the summertime how the sun heats the earth and creates hot air pockets. We'll use the sunshine in this example. So as the sun heats the earth, and one particular area more than the other, for example, land uh, heats up quicker than water, or a big green pasture would heat up quicker than a forest, for example. But the sun has heated an area, and let's say that it heated the area to about uh, 17 degrees. And the dew point that particular day was 14. Because this air is hotter than the surrounding air, it will rise, because warm air rises. And due to adiabatic cooling, it will cool at 3 degrees Celsius per thousand feet. So as this air rises, it would cool to 14 degrees, and its dew point is 14 degrees. So in this scenario, that would be where the base of the cloud is. Now 14 degrees is hot, hotter than the surrounding 13 degrees, so this air will rise again. And as the air rises, it cools 3 degrees, so now the temperature is 11. And since 11 is the same temperature as the surrounding air, the cloud won't go any further. So this would be a day like where you have um, maybe blue skies, but there's a couple little cumulus clouds around the area, but they're not really building up. They're just sitting there. And this would be standard. Now let's look at an example where the atmosphere or lapse rate was unstandard for some particular reason. Let's say that we started at 15 degrees, and as we went up, we dropped more than the normal 2 degrees Celsius per thousand feet. So let's say that the temperature went to uh, 12, and then, I don't know, uh, 8, and let's see, 5, 1, minus 3, or something like that. Now in this scenario, we have the sun heating a spot on the earth, and let's say it heated this little air pocket to it got to about 17 degrees and the dew point was 14 degrees. Since this air is warmer than the surrounding air, it's going to rise and it cools predict predictably at 3 degrees per thousand feet. So once you're at 1,000 feet, the temperature would be 14 and the dew point would be 14. So because the temperature and dew point met, that would be where the base of our cloud is. Now 14 is hotter than 12, so the air will continue to rise, and it loses 3 degrees, so it would end up at 11. But 11 is hotter than 8, so it will rise again and lose 3 more degrees. So then it makes it to 8. 8 is hotter than 5, so it rises again. So see what's happening? Because the adiabatic cooling rate never catches up with the, the lapse rate that particular day, then you will get a very, very large storm out of this scenario. So what exactly made this air so unstable? We had to have moisture, we had to have a lifting force, which I used the sunshine in my example, and I had unstable temperatures. The unstable temperatures are where the temperature lapse rate dropped more than two degrees per thousand feet. Now we could also, oh, let me write uh, unstable here, so unstable, you could also have a situation where the air was more stable than standard. And let's look and see what happens in that example. If we started with 15 degrees, and we go per thousand feet, and maybe the temperature went to 14, 
and then only 13, and then the temperature could go back to a warmer temperature, and we call that a temperature inversion, because normally it gets colder as we go up in the troposphere, but in this situation, from 13 to 14, it got warmer, so they call that a temperature inversion. But anyways, um, the sun heated a little pocket of air, and it heated it to 17 degrees Celsius, and the dew point was 14 in our example. So 17 is hotter than 15, so that air will rise, and it will rise and cool at 3 degrees Celsius per thousand feet. Well, since the temperature and dew point were the same, that is where the cloud base begins. But 14 is the same temperature as the surrounding air, so there's no reason for that air to rise anymore. So you may end up with a very, very, very thin layer of low-lying fog or a very, very thin layer of clouds or something in this situation where the air is stable. So what made that air stable? I still had moisture, I still had a lifting force, but what made that air more stable was the temperature, the lapse rate. The air did not cool drastically as we went up. As a matter of fact, it even was the inverse uh, temporarily in there. So stable air is where there's no lifting force or there's not enough, uh, uh, I'm sorry, let me rephrase that. Stable air is when the temperatures do not drop drastically. Unstable air would be that you had to have those, those three ingredients, a lifting force, moisture, and the temperatures would drop more than two degrees Celsius per thousand feet. So I hope that helps you understand uh, the stability of the air and how they can predict uh, thunderstorms in your area.